Welcome to this video from In 28 Minute. Thanks for all your love which helped us to grow to 25,000 subscribers on YouTube and more than 46,000 students on Udemy. You can find more about us on our website www.in28minutes.com. This video is a part of series of 100 plus videos celebrating my 15 years of experience with programming, design and architecture. In these videos, we talk about how to become a good programmer and a good architect. We also talk about Java related frameworks, concepts, practices and terminologies other than the varied range of tools that we make use of. You can find more details in the description of the video. In this video, let's look at a question which I am asked very frequently. Should I really be an expert at all design patterns? Should I know all of them end to end? My personal view is actually design patterns are very very useful but it's useful to know the context of a design pattern. You need to understand when a specific design pattern is applicable and what are its advantages. So you need to understand that you use a singleton in a specific I mean specific time. You use a prototype pattern in a specific situation. The knowledge of the context of a specific design pattern is very very good. So whenever you see that problem the design pattern should strike you. So you should be able to see a specific problem and identify, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a design pattern which I can apply in here. That's, that's the best way to look at design patterns. I'm not a great fan of understanding every minute detail of how a design pattern is implemented because that's a detail you can find over the net anytime. So if I know that I have to implement a singleton pattern, I can go and look up and implement it in the best possible way. But the most important thing is when you see the problem, it should strike you immediately that I have to use this design pattern. So you need to understand the context of the problem and also understand the specific design patterns which are applicable for that particular kind of a scenario. So you should have a high level understanding of the design patterns. It's not really necessary to understand the minute details. That's, that's the way, I mean, that's basically my personal way. I mean, that's based on the experience which I've gained over the last decade and a half of programming, designing and architecting. Um, what I've done is actually I've created a full video on design patterns. So if you go to the GitHub repository, Java best practices in, in 28 minutes, you'll find a link of this in the video description as well. You'd find a complete video on design patterns. This would actually take you through all the important design patterns, give you a familiarity towards that and you can uh, try and, I mean, the uh, objective is again to give the context of design patterns. It's not really to cover every intricate detail of every design pattern. It's quite a popular video. So if you click here and go down there, it's quite a popular video. You can see it has more than one lakh views with 582 likes. So it's quite a popular video and you can actually check it out to try and understand a high level overview of the design patterns. So that's it. So uh the so that's kind of my answer towards the question should an expert should i be an expert at all design patterns i don't think so you need to understand the context and what design patterns are applicable the intricate details you can leave it to use whenever it's applicable so there you go see you soon thanks for watching this video we created this video to celebrate my 15 years of experience with design, architecture and programming. We have created two complete Git repositories for you. Java Technology for Beginners and Java Best Practices. Java Best Practices covers my 15 years of experience with design patterns, code quality, design, architecture and modern development practices. We talk about REST services, SOAP web services, microservices, cloud native applications, four principles of simple design, among a varied range of other topics. Tells you how to become a good programmer, designer or an architect. Java Technology for Beginners focuses on the frameworks, concepts, practices and terminologies and tools related to application development. You can find link to the repositories in the description of the video. In 28 minutes has some of the highest rated courses on varied range of topics. You can find more information on our website www.in28minutes.com.